What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to our Shining Stars player review. There's a lot of players to get through here. Uh, these players are 100 coins. You can buy as many as you want to, uh, of them. So you can, you know, 2,100 coins, you can get every single player on this if you want. Um, there are some guys I think, yeah, are not worth spinning for. And then there are some players that if you don't have them already, these aren't like the best versions of these cards. Some of them are like Bellingham is a very strong card. Hakimi is a very strong card. DePaul is a very strong card. Valverde is always good. Courtois is very, very solid as well. Um, obviously, we'll get into it as well because Messi is part of this pack, but it looks like Messi will be coming as a reward. So we're going to do a quick overlook of all of these players in an overview. Then we're going to head over to eFootballDB and we're going to do a more in-depth review. So Starting with the kind of lower rated guys, we've got Joel Campbell, obviously Costa Rica. He's got standard form, which on C rating at this week, because there's no live data update yet. Um, he's just an average card, lads. His speed, his dribbling, his pace, everything about him is just going to be very average. So there are a lot of other players that you could get, um, you know, instead of him. Now, obviously, if you did want to train him up, this is how I would recommend training him up over on eFootballDB.com. Uh, he goes to an 87 overall as a right winger. But even at that, you know, he's not really worth, I don't think, training up unless you are looking for a team of, you know, Costa Rica players or you're looking for him specifically. I just don't think he's worth it with the form, the lack of really good player skills. And of course, his stats don't max out, you know, into the 90s with the dribbling for what you need. So yeah, he's probably a bit of a miss for me. Uh, this guy, obviously, as well, is then the same problem. He's a bit of a miss, I would say. Um, he does have, and look, in fairness, he does have a couple of nice player skills with blocker and aerial superiority, and he is a very, very, very big player, um, the Stoke man, but I just think that he doesn't have interception, which is the main um, one that you need if you are playing a four-man at the back uh, formation, and also on top of that, his stats just do not really do it for this level of where the game is at at the moment. Now, he still goes to a 90 overall. There was different versions of him out as well. You've got this version of him, which goes 40 levels. This one goes 29. So you can get his standard card quite, um, you know, well in comparison to this card if you wanted to test him out. But to be honest, you know, there are practically hundreds, hundreds of uh, center backs that you could use in his place. Apart from his height, which, you know, the headers are still a little bit missy. Um, I think a lot of the time, you know, sometimes you don't win headers unless you're facing, you know, Yang Collar and Dost up front or something like that. I don't think that he's he's worth it either, in my opinion. Um, same can be said for Kudos. Uh, he's a very good player because he's got deep line forward, but that inconsistent form, I know people say that sometimes they like to gamble with the inconsistent form, that it can actually be up more often than not. And he does have a lot of player skills. He's a very good player on the ball, but it depends your play style. If you are going to be playing and getting rewarded with this type of player, like you need to be a fairly above average player because you know his stats aren't going to... They're not really going to... They're not really going to like take, um, they're not, I don't know what I'm trying to say. They're trying to, uh, I, what I mean is that like his stats aren't going to overlook any of the issues that you have with this card. Some players can play above their stats if you're a good player and you've got, you know, nice player skills and a playing style. But this guy's 88 acceleration with 82 finishing. There's a lot of better center forwards in there, um, you know, compared to that. We've also got this guy, Abu Bakar um again he's a very exciting player if you have not got him yet he's got some nice player skills he's got unwavering form he's got good finishing which is 87 he's not the tallest but he is fairly strong for the physical contact i would slightly change him a little bit here i would probably take that down maybe to 85 and then i would probably put the aerial strength up just to get the physical contact up you're not going to get a pacey player no matter what way you train him so there's no point in trying we also have Ethan Ampadu here as well. Um, he's a fairly good player as well if you are looking for something different. Um, again, good good kind of solid center back. He can play DMF as well, which is an interesting choice. But yeah, I mean, there's so many players like this. Even though he does have interception, he doesn't have blockers. So if a player has interception, it's good if you're playing as a center back. But if you want him to play as a DMF, you need to have blocker and interception. That's just my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, he's probably a bit of a miss as well. Uh, there he does go up to an 89 overall as you see there but yeah there's a lot of players that are kind of in this that are really filler players in my opinion Mitrovic we have him here he's again a good player he's got standard form which is a bit of a pity 
really good player skills. Heading is where you want him. He's obviously a tall player, so you're going to want to use that ability as best you possibly can. If you are looking to get a player that's slightly different, slightly off the beaten track, he's not the worst player to have if you want to throw him on. He doesn't have super sub, obviously, but he does have 90 finishing, 88 header. His pace is, you know, you don't really want to talk about his pace, but uh, he's, a, you know, he's not the worst player to have. And then... Going quickly through Ericsson, Chesney, and Gakpo, because we focused a lot on Gakpo and Chesney. Chesney's stats just do not go high enough for a goalkeeper for this level of the game. I mean, he's just not good enough, in my opinion. There's too many uh, in, you know... Look, he has got unwavering form, and he has got low punt and fighting spirit, which is nice for a goalkeeper. But his stats just don't go high enough, man. Even no matter what way you train him up, if you were to pump every stat right, leave his awareness at 80, and you were to pump every stat or most of your stats into reflexes, you're still not going to get it up to 90 without obviously, you know, taking everything away from his card here. Like you have to go there and you're still leaving with reach is, is quite poor at that. You could, you know, that's probably how I train him. But yeah, he's definitely, in my opinion, one, one to miss. Christian Eriksen, excellent passing skills, excellent player skills. He's got uh, standard form. But, you know, the rest of his stats, if you're using Ericsson, he is a bit of a, he does require a bit of a bit of skill because you can't just spray the ball forward with him. He's more of a slow possession based player and you definitely need to be shooting lofted uh, or lofted uh, shots like finesse shots, curl shots, any of them, any way you want to do it. Gakpo, we featured Gakpo a couple of days ago or maybe two weeks ago. Um, he's not the best version of this card. Obviously, that was the player of the week version, which was quite good. But it does link up quite well, apart from the speed. This guy goes to 81, 91 when we train him up, um, which isn't too bad. But yeah, we can get him very on par with this player here, apart from the speed and the dribbling. But I think this card is just very balanced overall. And Gakpo plays extremely well. He's got early cross and pinpoint cross. And if you want to play him on the wing as well, which is interesting. Uh, if you're looking for something different. And then we also have Richarlison, who I'll throw into this as well. Who, 89 acceleration, 83 finishing. Dribbling is good. 86 balance and dribbling. Offensive awareness is a little bit low. But it is fairly decent and he does have standard form as well as a load of really nice player skills as well. So there's a lot of players in here. Perisic, we don't really need to focus too much on Perisic either. He's got super sub. That kind of makes him a little bit unique, but not amazing in my opinion. Um, he does have some very nice... Uh, you know player skills with pinpoint crossing but he doesn't have early cross so there's a bit of a kind of a weird thing going on with his card there i would have definitely given him player or into the early cross now the rest of the players here lads, there's a lot of players in this agent there's 21 players so i'm trying to get through them fairly quick we've got the rest of the players here that are fairly decent that will make a difference to your squad so hakimi is definitely one there apart from him not having unwavering form he doesn't have interception or blocker, but that's not too bad. If you are playing him as a right wing back or a right back or a right midfielder, he can also play left back, which is extremely important if you are kind of having fluid, flexible formations. This guy has got excellent stats. He trains up brilliantly, as you can see here. You can see this is how I've trained him. So we've pumped up eight into defending, dexterity, lower body, and then the rest into dribbling, passing, and aerial strength. You can see it down there on the left of the screen if you want to get this build of the player. 97 speed is going to really just completely um, transform his defense because you don't need to have anything. You're not going to get the defensive awareness up no matter what you do, right? You're not going to get that up over 80 unless you really just pump everything into defense, which is a waste on this card. Dribbling at 81 is perfect. Passing at 75 is perfect. 89 stamina, 79 offensive awareness. You're going to have him more defensive, just naturally more defensive, maybe play defensive on him. But 90, 97 speed and 92 acceleration is going to overcompensate a lot with this card. Trust me, it is a very, very good build of him. And then we've also got the Paul, who's in a similar kind of way uh, that he doesn't have the best individual stats for his position. There's players there that have better passing than him, better defense if you want to go that way. But this is this guy is kind of a jack of, of, of all trades, lads. He can do everything. He's got really solid dribbling, passing, really good player skills, really unique player skills. And he also has very good strength, speed, size. He's a really, really solid center midfielder. He's kind of like Goretzka. I don't think he's as good as Goretzka. He does have unwavering form, obviously, but he is a very solid center midfielder to have as well. That is Hakimi and DePaul. Griezmann, we don't need to focus too much on Griezmann because we've seen a lot of players uh, use Griezmann recently. He does have, obviously... Um, Super sub, which is very interesting and is always interesting to have there. I think you bring Griezmann on into the, in the second half with these stats. You need to be able to shoot with him. Similar to Ericsson, he's not a speed freak. He's not a speedy tie player. You need to be able to shoot and curl 
and get the ball into his feet. We've also got Rudiger. We've featured Rudiger quite a lot before. If I was just training up Rudiger, I would train up his defensiveness as best as possible and then get that speed up to 80. Everything else doesn't really matter, but I have featured a lot of versions of Rudiger, in, including the Germany pack, which is better, I would say, um, just slightly in terms of his aggression and his header and his defensive awareness. And this version of him, which was probably the best version they released because he had plus two on defensive awareness with loads more levels to go. This was definitely the best version of Rudiger they ever put out, but this one isn't too bad either. We also have Sommer, just to kind of finish up there. This guy is a very, very good pick as well. If you do pack him, I definitely would recommend him. Is he the best version out? Well, this guy had 24 levels, but he had minus two reflexes, so you can get him very much on par, right? So this version of him here has by default 86 reflexes. This guy had 84, and his standard version has 83. So uh, 21 levels on his standard card, 24 on this version of him, and then the Shining Stars one was this. So I think that they're all alike. I think once you get his reflexes to 93, 94, um, that is where you're going to want to be taking it. Like, you know, you could boost up his awareness if you want. The reach isn't too bad, even though he's a smaller base player. I wouldn't focus too much on the reach too much um, and clearing. I would be focused on goalkeeper reach and awareness getting that up. And then we also have Bruno, who's very similar to Christian Eriksen. Um, I would probably just, you know, train him up in a very similar way for shooting and for passing. You know what you're going to get with Bruno. Even though he's down as a right winger, he doesn't have the pace for right wing. I would definitely play him through the middle. So that's kind of covering all of the main guys that we have there. And then obviously, um, I would say that these are probably the four of four of the picks. Well, maybe I wouldn't put Rodri there. I would probably put Sommer in there. So Valverde is obviously somebody that I have featured quite a bit before. Um, he's a very solid player. You've got, you know, you know what you're getting with him. He's an unwavering form center midfielder that can cover every blade of grass. He is kind of Kante from, I would say, Pez 2018-19, where you could just play him anywhere. He's also got interception and fighting spirit and true passing and one-touch pass. So it's excellent. You have an amazing ability just to be able to cover so much ground with him. And when we train him up, that's how I'm going to probably train him up, right? I would probably train him as a 93 center midfielder. We're going to focus on his defense. We're going to focus on his speed. And, you know, speed and acceleration over overcompensate for a lot of issues with a center midfielder because they just cover so much ground with that stamina. Make sure the stamina is up high. We also have Jude Bellingham, one of my favorite players in the game on my other profile. He is an absolute beast, lads. He is probably one of the picks of it. I know a lot of people will be trying to get Jude Bellingham. We'll just have a look at his base card here. So Bellingham has obviously got unwavering form. One touch pass, interception, fighting spirit, first time shot. He doesn't have a couple of player skills that will make him like completely meta, but the rest of his stats more than make up for that if you are looking for a true box to box and you don't really want to try Goretzka. This guy is the real deal. Him and Kamavinga, I think, are excellent young players to build around. 90 stamina, he's got 70, 70 offensive awareness, which will keep him a little bit more defensive than you need him. Defensive engagement is high, defensive awareness is high for a centre midfielder. He's got the passing, his dribbling is slightly low, so if you are one of those players that doesn't play possession, you won't need to worry about that. If you do play possession, maybe Bellingham is not for you, uh, because he is more of a powerhouse, a kind of box-to-box -box that covers a lot of ground and disrupts the play, rather than, you know, a finesse type player. Um, so that is something just to keep an eye on as well. And then we also have Rodri and we have got Courtois. So Rodri, for me, as a centre back, this is a very kind of interesting, interesting card, right? Because if you are going to be getting Rodri, right, you need to be obviously playing him as a CMF or a DMF or a centre back, right? That's the two options. Now, for this card, because we've, you know, featured Rodri before, I've kind of switched it up left his speed alone really haven't touched that too much but just boosted up 10 into his defending to get that defensive stats up this is excellent right and i'll tell you why you don't need to focus on anything dribbling wise or passing wise for a center back with these stats it's kind of like frankie de Jong, uh from an e football 2022 when i was playing frankie de Jong back center back this guy is the real deal he's got absolutely excellent on ball ability that you don't need to train up at all look nothing in passing or dribbling because you're playing him as a centre back, he'll be able to control the ball better than 90% of the centre backs that are there. And it is important. I will be bringing a new video out on the importance of training up players the right way rather than max overalls. I keep repeating it, but people keep asking me questions about it. But uh, yeah, I would probably pump 10 into defending, 
not too worried about his physical contact or his balance that is irrelevant really for the card we're going to be playing him as a center back but we've got 90 kicking power we've got 72 speed that is okay to cover any gaps and then the player skills come into it then as well and then last but not least we have Courtois I'm toy I'm kind of torn on Courtois lads I'll be honest with you right I I do rate him anytime I come up against him he is a massive unit in the goals I just think Donnarumma just just has better reflexes all around like if you are to really train up uh Courtois I think you need to sacrifice pretty much everything to get to get the stats up to where you need to get them like to get a 91 reflexes you know like if we we're to just pumping everything into reflexes right you're only going to get a card up to 12 right you're going to get 92 reflexes so to me I don't think that that's worth it so I think with Donnarumma you do have that little bit of extra grace to have Donnarumma um just a little bit more you know obviously like this is the italian version of him but with donnarumma because he has got that better base um of reflexes you don't need to focus too much and you can get it higher so you go up to 93 on reflexes you're going to see some amazing saves from donna obviously this is the best version of donna so you know you are going to have that awareness is important enough once you have the reflexes up fairly high but even at that man that is a serious card like that is a serious card there you've got 85 awareness so i think if even with the standard version of donnarumma like you still have enough there to be able to kind of boost him up a good bit because you know this standard version of him here if you are looking for a goalkeeper check out my review with donna like even just leaving this as the base like go up to eight with this with all of these and then you can still get three more into that to get to 93 like you're going to get an exceptional uh, keeper card there with 93 reflexes but anyway if you do get courtois you do get courtois and then last but not least lads we do have messi who was coming to the pack um but i think he's going to be down as a free player so this player level of 16 levels um is not going to be accurate at the moment i reckon that they'll either do one of two things right they'll either release it as a free reward with just you know he'll be you know he'll be stick he'll be stuck at 87 overall as a center forward or i reckon that he might have about 16 levels right if you were to simulate that he has 16 levels you could turn him into an absolute machine man you know because you don't really need to if you're looking for a center forward the only thing that you need to upgrade or boost up with him as a center forward is his acceleration you don't really need to touch his speed too much like we could boost that up a, a fraction if we wanted to but you're going to have absolutely insane shooting there with acceleration that would be a 94 overall i think that would be a very nice free version of messi a 94 overall center forward 98 balance 93 finishing 94 uh set piece and curl and then his speed isn't too op like i think 88 acceleration would be quite nice we have had the legend version of messi obviously which goes ridiculously high we have the argentina pack one that opened at the start and then we have a couple of the legend one here that we see um with 21 levels so that 21 levels was a base card of 89 overall um so yeah it is going to be interesting but that's it for me lads it's a very long video there's 21 players to get through so i tried to spend less than a minute on each player hope you guys enjoyed it and uh hope you're having a good uh christmas and we will talk to you soon so that's it for the review of the shining stars i will talk to you in a bit peace